This is a small model of a table and it's got a paper label to the top um, noting patent and with a patent number. Whether a patent was actually ever taken out on this table, we don't know. We haven't been able to find any record of it through research. But this table would have been used to help with design and work out exactly um, what was going on and how it worked. To apply for the patent, he would have had drawings and notes, um, but for his own use and perhaps maybe even a patent officer's use, a model like this showing exactly how the patent worked would have been very useful. And in fact, for a modern day cabinet maker, if they wanted to produce um, a folding table such as this, then having this model in front of them would be great. So let's see how it works. Well, if we lift up the top like this, we can see that the side legs then fold. Now they're prevented from doing that when the table top is down because of this bar here, which stops them swinging in. Now with the legs folded, we can see that we've got three bars here hinged to each other. One to the underside of the top, then another hinge to that, and then another hinge to that, which is hinged to the leg frame. In fact, to the back rail of the legs there. So those three bars all fold on top of each other like that, allowing the table to flat pack very neatly and very easily. So basically the design is for a folding table which dismantles without the use of unscrewing bolts or hooks or levers or anything. It's all done simply on hinges. So if we open it up again, you've got those three bars there, all hinged to each other. Lifting those up allows you to unfold the table legs like that. Then the top on the hinges goes forward and this apron rail stops the legs from folding in. And um, as I said, we haven't been able to find this design um, through research. We haven't been able to find this patent. Whether the patent was actually ever taken out or not, who knows, maybe it wasn't. Maybe the design didn't go that far. And we haven't seen this design on a full size table either. But um, it's an interesting design. I mean, it's uh, similar to a farmhouse table of the second half of the 19th century. This is probably closer to 1900 in date, late 19th century. Difficult to tell exactly what wood has been used because it's covered in such a thick, dark shellac. Um, possibly might be walnut um, or perhaps a softwood. And interestingly, the top has been made out of two laminated boards. So if I bring that in a little bit closer, you might just be able to see on that edge there, but it's made out of two boards. So quite an interesting little model of a folding table, late 19th century in date, and um, probably made of walnut, but possibly um, a softwood. And there you can see the label on the top, handwritten, noting that it's patented.